Good day, everyone. This is Teacher Bell, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. Today, I figured let's work on a simple word problem related to the highest common factor. The problem goes like this. A piece of cardboard measured 77 centimeters by 110 centimeters. Cedric cuts the cardboard into squares of equal size without leaving any remainder. What would be the length of each square? To understand the problem better, let's have this illustration. Obviously, the cardboard as described is rectangular that measures 77 centimeters by 110 centimeters. And if you're going to cut this into squares of equal size, this means we have to find the highest common factor of 77 and 110. Think of a number that can be used to divide 77 and 110 without a remainder. What number could that be? If you say it's 11, then you are right. 77 divided by 11, we get 7. And we can have 10 sets of 11 in 110. We can now stop dividing at this point since there are no other common factor for 7 and 10. So the highest common factor of 77 and 110 is 11. Therefore, the answer to the question as to what would be the length of each square is 11 centimeters. It means that on the side where the length of the cardboard is 77 centimeters, you can have 7 squares that are 11 centimeters long. And on the side where the length of the cardboard is 110 centimeters, you can have 10 squares that are also 11 centimeters long. And there you have it, as easy as that. So if you find videos like this useful, I am inviting you to join me in this channel for more educational videos that you or your children might need sooner or later. So once again, this is Teacher Bell saying thanks for watching and see you again in my future videos. Stay safe everyone and have fun learning.